There's a variety of teams being flown to Tacloban with a variety of experiences. Civilians and military members are using C-130s piloted by Marines and Airmen to get to the most damaged areas in the Philippines. Captain Benoit Bertolone talks about the flights in and out of critical areas in Operation Damion. Coming through Manila, going down south to uh, Talcoban, where we know that uh, the storm hit and we're uh, taking in uh, aid, relief aid, and taking out uh, what we can. It's a joint effort, you know, multiple countries are down there. Team Rubicon, made up mostly of United States veterans, is one of the teams on the ground. Matthew Runyon speaks about answering the call again and pairing up with the United States Marine Corps. So obviously we love doing this, continuing our service, uh, even, you know, we, we love serving the United States uh, communities that we are able to on our domestic missions, but uh, getting out in the international community, quite frankly, I don't think we could have done um, what we've already been able to do if it weren't for our partnerships with the United States Marine Corps. Frankly, getting us on, on flights and supporting our shipments of supplies, uh, again, we couldn't do it without uh, the help from the United States military, specifically the Marine Corps in this case. Lance Corporal Eric Waddell. Villamore Air Base, Republic of the Philippines.